Hello, this is Trevor Lewis from the Voyager Middle School Steam Lab, and today I'm going to do a video showing you the basics of SolidWorks. Um, if you've installed SolidWorks at home using the Student Design Kit, yours might look a little different because I have the full installation, um, but you should be able to, to match pretty much what I've got here. So let's have a look. When you first open up SolidWorks, it's going to take a really long time to load, but when it finally gets loaded, it looks like this. We use SolidWorks in the Steam Lab for 3D printing. So we're not going to be doing drawings or assemblies, really. We're going to be focusing on parts. So if you make a part, you can get 3D print that. So this is the the introduction. There's a lot of things going on here. Um, this only pops up when you first open it, though. So let me show you what it looks like if you don't have that open. Uh, also, we have some resources over here. Depending on how you're connected to the Internet, some of these may or may not work. I usually just click right here to hide them over there so that they're a little bit smaller. I also want to make sure when I'm getting set up here that I pin this menu because if it's not pinned, it has a tendency to hide like that. As long as you've got a big enough bar up here to, to house all this stuff and the menu, I would take the menu open and I'd push the pin to keep it pinned. And then well, let's open up a new file. So you got this new button here or you can go to file new and we're going to open up a new part like I said. And when you open up a part, the first thing you do is you're always going to make sure that you're in millimeters. You want to make sure you're working in the unit that you want to work in, and we use millimeters because that's how our 3D printer speaks. So down here in the bottom right-hand corner, it says MMGS. If it doesn't say MMGS, you want to switch it. If yours says IPS, what will happen is you'll make something, and you'll think it's 5 inches, and it'll turn out to be 5 millimeters, and so you don't want that. So make sure you have that set to MMGS. So now we're in SolidWorks. This is what it looks like. Um, there are three tabs that we use in my class. We use the features tab. This is how we, features are 3D things. So if I'm trying to make something and I have to go like this with my hands to show you like 3D things, it's a feature. Um, the sketch tab, this is for flat things. So we usually start with flat things and then we turn those into 3D things. So that's the sketch tab. And then the last one that we use is the analysis preparation. And we, this one's not even always up here. If you right click, you can see, you can check off which ones you want up here. You want analysis preparation. Analysis preparation, what it allows you to do is once you have several objects, you can move them around, combine them, that kind of thing. So we use that one too. Uh, we don't really use any of the other ones. All right, so let me give you some a little bit more of a tour. Over here is both the history and all the objects you've made. So this is a really, really important area. Um, you can see that there are some planes here that you start off with. These are flat surfaces that you can make things on, but they're hidden right now. If I click on them, I can show them. A lot of times this little pop-up menu is going to be really important where you click and you see when I clicked on it, it, now it's letting me rename this. So if you're having a hard time getting the pop-up menu to stay, try clicking on the icon instead. So now I can sketch in that plane. I can show the plane. If I choose show, it turns blue here, fills in, and then it's always there even if um, even if I don't have it selected. Right now I can select the right plane, you can see the right plane, but when I deselect it by clicking over here, you can't see it anymore. Um, so this is a really important area. Also really important are all these view tools up here. So this is how this is a, a way to move around and to zoom and to, to see things. But most of this uh, can be done pretty easily using the, uh, the middle button on your mouse. So on, on the mouse, the scroll wheel. If I scroll the scroll wheel, it zooms in and out. And it matters where I put my mouse because it zooms in and out towards my mouse. But the zoom, that that whole zoom function um, is a little bit backwards, in my opinion. Uh, but that's just how SolidWorks works. Now, I'm also orbiting. So I'm twisting the world around. And the way I do that is I click the wheel down like it's a button. And then I move the mouse. So that's going to be important. Because when you're working in 3D, sometimes you think you've got everything lined up perfectly. And then you turn the world and you realize that it was just an optical illusion. Because it's actually a flat screen that you're working on. And that can be confusing. So that's how you move around in SolidWorks. To make something, I would always start with a sketch, grab something to sketch with. If you don't choose ahead of time, it's going to say, I don't know where you want to sketch, but you could pre-select something. Or if I chose to sketch and it didn't tell me where, I could just click on one of these planes here. I'm going to choose the top plane. And now I can sketch. It's This is also a really important thing in SolidWorks that you need to get used to. Instead of clicking and dragging, Sometimes you can do that, but usually that means something different than if you click and then click. And in any CAD program, that's going to be really important. You click to start, click to finish, gives you a lot more control. So there's a rectangle. 
If I want to make that rectangle a 3D, I got to go back to the Features tab because that's where the 3D stuff is kept. Also, right now I'm in the middle of a sketch. You can tell because up here and it's got an exit sketch button and a cancel changes to the sketch button. So think of this as you know, sketch is like a piece of paper while inside the sketch you've opened up a folder that has a piece of paper. If I close the sketch, I can't cop I can't write on that. I can't erase these lines. It's all encapsulated right here in the sketch. And if I have it pre-selected like this and I start sketching, then I'll sketch in that sketch. But if I select a different plane and I start sketching, I will end up sketching in that plane instead. So it's a different sheet of paper. And I have to exit the sketch when I want to when I want to close it up to make sure that it's not connected to the other things. To make things 3D, we can go to features. And I can do different things like I can uh, extrude, revolve, sweep, and loft to make this 3D. These are, this is basically what most of the course is about is how to do these things. So the easiest way to make something 3D is just select the sketch that you want to make 3D and choose extrude. Extrude is the easiest one. It just takes that flat thing and makes it tall. If I click on the line, one click and then move the mouse and another click, it will make it taller. My computer's having a hard time recording as it goes. There we go. Like everything in SolidWorks, whenever you're doing something, you've got a green check mark and a red X to finish. Finish yes, cancel no, finish yes. There we go. Okay. And now that I've got this, you can see there's a lot more options. So I can do things like I can shell it to make it hollow. I can combine it up with other things. I can fill it the corners. I can say, let's fill it these edges, this edge and this edge and this edge and this edge. And we'll go, let's go only five millimeter fill it. Let's see, well, give me a preview of that. I haven't really been paying attention to how big things are. Uh, let's show my full preview. There's my five millimeter preview. That looks okay, check mark. There we go. So you can see we can we can do a lot of different things with a lot of different tools. So go ahead and play around and see if you can make something that looks like something interesting. Oops, I've filled it all of them. There we go. That'll work. Let's go bigger though. Let's see. Can I do 10 millimeter fillet? Yeah, let's try that and see what happens. So as you're playing around with SolidWorks, let me show you how to uh, get into the tutorials so that you can explore a little bit on your own. If you come up to the help window here and you go down, you, you can see there's a lot of things in the help window. But if you go to SolidWorks tutorials, some of the basics are here. So for SolidWorks tutorials, there's a bunch of different categories up here. Let's start with getting started. You can do the full sort of SolidWorks introduction, but really, like I said, we're going to work with parts. So I might start just by trying this one out. You just click on it. And it's going to tell you this is what we're going to make. Um, and you can go, here, I'm going to move me over here so you can see. You can go to the next window right here, and it'll tell you how to do all this one step at a time. And there's even some spots where if you want to keep going, there's even some files you can open to get you started. But this is going to take you step by step through it. Um, this might be a good place to, to start if you're trying to explore on your own. So try and make something in SolidWorks and make it look like something and turn it in and let's see what it looks like.